Hey, what's going on, Aries? I am going to do your reading. Um, it is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, today I'm going to be using, I, I still hold this as, as my, my number one deck, uh, the Celtic Tarot. It's the first deck I truly ever connected with and, um, you know, it, it came to me very naturally. I tried other decks before this. Uh, I tried the Wild and Unknown, uh, the basic Rider Waite, uh, a few other decks, but when I actually got this deck into my hands, I felt a connection that I didn't feel with any other deck. Now, everybody's different. That's just the backstory of this and why it's still my favorite. With all that being said, let's get it. Where's what we have for Aries? What's going on for Aries? Three more shuffles for Aries. Aries so the first thing I see Aries is I feel like there is someone that you have a very unique bond with you know I I, I feel like it is someone from your past I feel like it is someone like I said, I feel like you have a very strong and unique bond. I feel like it's it's a feeling that you never felt for someone before. You know, it went very deep for you. But I feel like with this person, I feel like you put yourself out there. I feel like, you know, you knew what you wanted. Like I said, I, I feel like it was a very distinct feeling you got when you were around this person. Something very... Not not something that you've ever felt before. You know, almost like that feeling of you found the person you were looking for. Like your ship has come in. You know, you waited at that, you know, at the docks and that ship has finally come in. Everything that you wanted seemed like it was right there in front of you. But then I feel like... Uh, I feel like there was a lot of hot and cold energy with this person. You know, I, I feel like it was very passionate, very, you know, sparks were flying, chemistry. Everything was on par. Everything was going in a great direction. And, and it's almost like this person went cold on you. You know, it, it's like they started shutting you out. You know, with that self-imposed prison, that eight of swords. You know, I, I feel like this person grew distant. You know, and I feel like even though you put in the work, even though when they started pulling away, it's almost like you put on put in more work trying to, you know, figure it all out, trying to save this yourself. You know, I, I feel like it wasn't I feel like they just pulled away. You know, I feel like when, you know, the initial interaction when you first met this person, they were very confident, very sure of themselves. 
You know, I, I, I feel like there was, like I said, there was a lot of passion, a lot of fiery energy, but I feel like it, you know, we, we lost this somewhere along the line. And I feel like because of this made you very defensive, you know, an internal struggle within you feeling like maybe, maybe you did something wrong or, you know, maybe you thought too much into this or maybe you gave too much into this. Maybe you, you know, and, and there's a lot of bullshit maybes, but it's not you. I'm here to, to, to reassure you of that. What I'm seeing is I feel like this person, I feel like you intimidated them. I feel like they never had someone, they felt this, you know, they felt that chemistry as well. They felt that, you know, that connection, but they also felt challenged. They also felt that someone expected more of them than anyone's ever th expected. You know, it, it, and I feel like a lot of this is put, they put on themselves. You know, I, I, I feel like they were intimidated by you because of the fact that you were a no bullshit type of person. You know, and sometimes when people that don't have people that challenge them, they meet someone that finally does challenge them. You know, I, I feel like it scared the shit out of them. You know, you intimidated them. They weren't expecting it. You know, it, and it made them feel, and this is all how they felt. This is not something that you have to concern yourself with. You know, this is on them. They felt weak. They felt challenged. When they felt that challenge, they felt weak. You know, they lost that confident feeling. You know, I... I mean, even though they felt that connection, even though... Even though it was all there, everything they wanted was right there in front of them. Everything you wanted was right there in front of you. I feel like they weren't, they weren't expecting that challenge. And I feel like they didn't think they could live up to that challenge. You know, I feel like it gave them a lot of late nights, a lot of anxiety. And that's why they put up those walls, that self-imposed prison. They try to stop it. You know, it's like when you, when, when, when you have a hose and you, and you try to bend it to stop that flow. I mean, they tried, they tried to back this down, but they couldn't. Now, I feel like the thing is that I see here is I feel like we're going to talk about timing. You know, I, I feel like the timing wasn't right. I feel like this person had some growing up to do. And I feel like I, I see a lot of big changes happening over over the, the last little while here for this person. You know, we have the Six of Swords all about change. You know, I, I feel like I feel like they've never stopped thinking about you. They only think about you. You know, and I feel like nothing really compares to you for them. You know, sometimes when that initial challenge comes, when somebody actually challenges us, sometimes we can get scared of that. You know, feeling like we'll never live up to it or feeling like, you know, we're going to let you down at some point. And when you have truly strong feelings for someone, letting them down can be the worst thing. You know, like I said, this person... They weren't expecting to feel this way. They weren't. And they also weren't expected to be ch to have someone that, you know, kept them above board. But I feel like their perspective has changed. Part of the changes that's happened to this person, their perspective. They were happy with you. They were fulfilled with you. You know, and you challenging them made them better. And they see that now. Hindsight's twenty twenty. You know, sometimes we don't see things when it's right in front of us. And they didn't see it. They didn't see what was right in front of them. With that two of swords. Like I said, they've gone through a lot of big changes. They haven't stopped thinking about you. You know, they haven't been able to let you go. And I feel like I, I, I do see that return. You know, I do see this person coming back and facing facing some of their fears. 
you know, with that moon card, I we see that reconciliation. This person wants to be with you. That's never changed. A lot of those big changes that they made was on their end. You know, perspective. You know, trusting how they felt. Trusting the feeling they had when they were with you. And like I said, I, I, I this person is coming back and they're, they're here to put in the work. You know, they are going to show up for you. And they're going to finally make you the offer that you should have been offered a long time ago. You know, this, the sparks aren't gone. And I feel like that may have been one of your one of your fears. One of the things that really, you know, got into your head is the fact that, you know, what could you have done or what did you do wrong? And I feel like there was a lot of a blame game played. But this isn't about you. This is about them. This is about their emotional maturity. They had to mature. You know, I feel like it was the right person. But it was the wrong time. But I feel like now is the right time. You know, we also have that sun card. I see a lot of happiness. You know, and we have the chariot as well. A lot of forward movement. I feel like this was all meant to happen. But, it, it, you know, sometimes it's not, it's not clear. You know, sometimes we meet the right people. And it may not work out. It doesn't mean it's never going to work out. It just means it wasn't meant to work out then. You know, that's what a lot of people, you know, sometimes when you have that certain special person in your life in some way, shape, or form, you lose that. You know, you can always hold on to it because I feel like there's a deeper meaning there. and There's something more that needs to be exposed. And sometimes we don't get, we don't get that second chance. But what I see here is I see that second chance is coming. And I feel like they're going to make it right. Like I said, I, I, I sometimes we don't know what we want until it's right there in front of us. And sometimes even then we can't see it until it's not. You know, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You know, we have... We have Taurus. We have some Virgo. We have all signs. We have some Capricorn as well. Um, you know, sometimes we're sometimes we go through life never being challenged, and that one person that steps up and challenges us can be the the thing that we're most afraid of. You know, me personally, myself, I need someone that challenges me. You know, because there's gonna be some some. Someday when I when I start slipping, you know, and I want that person to call me out on my bullshit. If I'm doing something stupid, I want someone to tell me that. I don't want someone to watch me and just let me do it. But some people, you know, everybody's different. But just my personal experience is I need someone that challenges me. I need someone that makes me want to be the person that I should be. Not someone that just lets me be the person... You know, you know what I mean? I, I I hope you know what I mean. You know, some days we have those days where we just want to sit around and do nothing. You know, or there's something we really want to do, but we just don't do it. We Sometimes we need that person that pushes us. And that extra little push can be everything. You know, I'm not talking about someone to hold your hand and makes you do things. That's not what I'm talking about. And, and they may ne never say anything to you at all about it. Maybe it's just their actions that pushes you. Some people just need that. Some people, it can be scary at first. If they've never experienced that. You know? <laughs> That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.